Hello there everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is the Weekend Love Readings with me, Miss Machiste. We are going to be looking into each zodiac sign's weekend love energies for this weekend of June 4th, 5th, and 6th. Please do keep in mind that time is fluid and in the description box below you will find the timestamps to this video. I will also pin a comment in the comment section with the timestamps as well. Each zodiac sign has their own reading. Please do not forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you out there. Thank you so much for all of your support. I'm so very grateful for each and every one of you. All of your likes, shares, subscribes, and recommendations to my channel truly mean the world to me. Please do not forget to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. So we are going to be using the Guardian Angel deck. We will be getting an angel for each zodiac sign for this weekend. And we will also be using a different sort of tarot deck. Um, on Memorial Day, my father passed away. So um, he did have his own tarot deck. It is in the form of Rider White. So in honor of him, he will be in my weekend reading for this weekend. His birthday is also on June 7th, so right after this weekend. So in honor of him, I will be using his tarot deck. So let's get started and let's get into it. We are starting off with my beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for this weekend. Spirit for my beautiful Aries. What angel is with Aries for this weekend in their love lives? Spirit for my beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What angel is with Aries? Here we go, Aries. So your guardian angel is card number nine, the angel of determination. Nine may mean something to you, it may not, that's just the energy of the card, but you are really determined this weekend to get what you want, do what you want, and get things done. So in this aspect, you could be trying to work on your partnership. You may be very determined to do something in your love life. Possibly you are feeling determined to find new love. Maybe you're feeling determined to get over the past, release the past, whatever the case may be. Let's get the tarot and see what's going on here with you. Aries, what is coming your way this weekend in love? The cards fell. Give me one second. Spirit for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives. What are com what's coming their way this weekend for my beautiful Aries? So you're definitely feeling very determined, very courageous, and very brave this weekend. So let's see, Aries, first card out is we have the Six of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Four of Pentacles. All right, Aries. So it looks like somebody is missing you here or somebody is could be missing you. They could be really loving you as well. I don't see how open you are to it, Aries. So for some of you with the Six of Cups energy, a past person could be making their way into your energy this weekend. I do feel like whatever is happening here, I feel like you felt like this was your happiness. And now I feel like you're trying to figure that out. So... Aries, if you are in a relationship, possibly your person is going to be very caring towards you, wanting to be very in tune with you emotionally, wanting to have this happiness with you, feeling joy, feeling that euphoric satisfaction of really being in the right place at the right time. So for my Aries that are connecting with somebody, I definitely feel like this person is going to be a lot more caring, loving, generous towards you this weekend. Maybe you're going to spend time with their family. Maybe you have a family with this person. But with this Four of Pentacles here, I'm not, I'm not sure how open you are here, Aries. I feel like you are 
really trying to figure out where to put your effort into yourself, into other people, both, whatever the case may be. But nonetheless, somebody is going to show you that they care, that they miss you, that they love you, that they want you this weekend. And the choice is yours, Aries, if you want to open up. For some of you, a lot of you, this definitely could be a past person or somebody that you share children with. For others of you, this could be somebody that you're very connected to family-wise or you just may have really wanted this person. You may have really wanted that happy family, that happy home, and that happy life. And your determination may be shifted elsewhere now. You may realize, wait, I don't know if this is what I want. For others of you, Aries, the last message I have here, I do feel like for some of you, Aries, you may be married or you may be in a position of having this happy home, happy life, sweet energy, and just having what you really want. With this Four of Pentacles, it could be that Spirit wants you to hold on to that vision and don't let people who don't give you this beautiful energy make you feel like it is not available to you. So for a lot of my Aries, you may be holding on to the vision of determination to really get this happy home, happy life, happy relationship no matter what your status is. Spirit is saying, hold on to that vision, be determined to get there, and you will get there. Do not let past people, do not let people's opinions or whatever the case may be, turn you away from what your vision is for yourself and your love life. Because this can be obtainable for you, Aries. For a lot of you, it's happening this weekend. For others of you, it can happen, but you have to be determined to get there. So, we have water sign, we have earth energy. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be Aries, it's just the energy, but that's what I have here for you, Aries. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching, have a great weekend. And next up is my beautiful Taurus, hello Taurus. Let's get a guardian angel for Taurus spirit for this weekend of June 4th to June 6th. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives for this weekend. Thank you, Spirit. So, Taurus, your card is... Oh, you got the 1111 card. The Angel of Encouragement. So, you may be seeing 1111 may mean something to you. You may have been seeing 1111 on the clock a lot. Or maybe you have just been seeing a lot of ones. But nonetheless, Taurus, your Angel of Encouragement is right next to you this weekend cheering you on really inspiring you to keep pushing keep going and encouraging you to do what's best for you taurus so you do have a very beautiful uplifting angel so let's see what the tarot has here for you taurus with this energy as well this is also showing me that for some of you you may be completing a very difficult cycle and your angel is encouraging you to keep pushing. It's almost over. The tough times are ending. Or the tough moments in that situation are. So let's see what the tarot has here for you, Taurus. What's coming your way this weekend, Taurus? We have the Empress. There you are. We also have the Chariot. And we have the Ace of Wands. All right, Taurus. So you are sitting pretty here as the Empress. This is your energy you could also be dealing with a Libra, but Taurus, you are looking good, you're smelling good, and your value is extremely high. You know your value and everybody is seeing it. We do have the Chariot here, could be dealing with a Cancer. It does seem like there is movement happening for you this weekend. You could be traveling towards someone, you could be having somebody travel towards you, possibly something has to do with distance. Maybe you are at a distance of your person and going to make a plan to see them. Or maybe come up to an idea with how you two can plan to see one another. But there is movement forward nonetheless. And you do have a passionate offer coming your way. Ace of Wands here could be coming from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But Taurus, somebody is very interested in sparking something with you. Re-sparking something with you here. Um, for some of you Tauruses, if you're trying to get um, pregnant... Spirit is definitely encouraging you to keep going. Pregnancy is very good here. This is a very good pregnancy combo. 
Um, for others of you, you could be getting intimate as well with the Empress and the Ace of Wands. I would be careful of pregnancy if you don't want that. And I do feel like for some of you, Taurus, um, with this Empress energy, you're like putting your best self out there, your best foot forward, and you're really, really, really nurturing those parts of yourself. And it looks like somebody just can't help but feel attracted towards that. So your person may be a lot more action-oriented towards you, maybe a lot more flirty, whatever, sensual. And for others of you, Taurus, you definitely could be hearing from somebody new, past, whatever, Ace of Wands. It could be either or, but it could be also on the internet. So definitely could be some sort of internet reach out here with this Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands gives me internet vibes. But nonetheless, Taurus, somebody sees your growth and they want in or somebody sees your value and they want to show you how much they find that attractive and really like they feel like there's a lot of chemistry here between the two of you. So we have Taurus Libra, we have Chariot with Cancer and we have Fire Energy with this Ace of Wands. But nonetheless, Taurus, you are being seen, you are being appreciated, somebody is recognizing you or somebody's going to be expressing recognition towards you. For some of you, if you have been getting yourself out there on the internet, you may like match with someone this weekend or come together with someone this weekend and come up with a plan for you two to see one another. That could definitely be happening. So that's what I have here for you, Taurus. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Next up is we have my beautiful Geminis. Hello, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Spirit for Gemini in their love lives. What angel is with Gemini for this weekend? All right, here we go, Gemini. Your angel is card number seven. The angel of communication. All right, so communication coming through very strongly. If you were here in my intro, um, this is my father's deck that I'm using. He is a Gemini. His birthday is on the 7th. He just passed away Memorial Day. So weirdly auspicious that card seven would come through for Gemini. So angel of communication. So definitely communication happening for you this weekend, a conversation possibly finding a way to communicate with your person better. Um, for others of you, somebody could be reaching out to you here with this angel of communication. Um, for a lot of you, Geminis, this is an indication of an important conversation as well. So let's see what the tarot has here for you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For Gemini and their love lives for the weekend of June 4th to June 6th. Here we go, Gemini. First card out is we have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. All right, so it looks like somebody has been watching you here, Gemini. I felt this for your May, not your May, your June reading. So head over to my channel if you want to see that. It is your After Dark reading. Um, we have water here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Page of Swords here with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, so Gemini, it looks like there is confusion around how to come towards someone or how to say something to someone. And that's what your reading was about. Someone has something to say to you. So very interesting that this would come out for this weekend. Possibly the energy is still potent. Uh, okay. So it looks like somebody is really in their head about you here, Gemini. Keep in mind, this could be totally vice versa. This could be you opposed to them. But somebody is in their head about how to say something to someone or how to reach out to someone. So maybe your person has something they want to say to you. Maybe you have something you want to say to somebody. But there's confusion on how to do it in what way to articulate the message, whatever the case may be. Seven of Cups shows a lot of confusion. You could have dreamt of this person reaching out to you or dreamt of wanting to reach out to this person, whatever the case may be. Gemini Cross Watchers, maybe this is flipped for you, but Seven of Cups, confusion over how to initiate something. Page of Swords, somebody is very curious about you. You could be curious about someone else. Watching you, possibly watching you on social media, watching you online, 
very much in a position of curiosity here. Somebody has for you, Gemini, and it looks like they are walking away from their confusion. So with the Eight of Cups coming after the Seven of Cups, I do feel like this person will be coming out of the shadows to say something to you if they have not already said something to you. Possibly for some of you, Gemini, somebody is going to be articulating something to you about... You know, Gemini, you could be confusing your person or your person could be confusing you, yet neither of you have really said anything about this. Let's see what would have come after the Eight of Cups. The Hermit. Virgo energy. All right, so if you are single, single Gemini, I do feel like for some of you, somebody has been watching you, possibly somebody from your past. They are in a healing process right now or they are trying to heal something, maybe heal between you two or not. Maybe just something generally, but they want to talk to you. I don't know about what, but they they want to talk to you. They're watching you. It's not like they're watching your every move, yet they make it seem like they don't with this hermit energy. And for others of you Geminis, maybe you're single, single, single. You have options. Possibly one of your options have something to say to you. Or maybe you're in a position of choosing someone. But nonetheless, communication is coming through heavily for this weekend. Somebody finally making the decision to communicate something or reach out to you in general. And they have been thinking about this for a long time. Or they have been contemplating about this for a while. If it hasn't been a long time, they've just been thinking about it like 24-7. Non-stop. What do I say to Gemini? How do I say it to Gemini? Or this could be you. I do feel like it's more towards you, Gemini, of somebody wanting to say something to you, but... For a slim percentage of you, this could be backwards. But that's what I have here for you, Gemini. Definitely conversations, communications coming towards you this weekend. Next we have up is my beautiful Cancers. Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your reading for this weekend, your love reading. So Spirit for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives. What angel is with Cancer for this weekend? All right, Cancer. Your angel is card 28, the angel of remembrance. All right, Cancer. So 28 may mean something to you. It doesn't have to be. But um, you have a passed on loved one helping you in your love life this weekend. The angel of remembrance. So when you see this card... What, who do you remember? If you do not have a passed on loved one, then you may have your higher self trying to reach out to you or possibly your spirit guides trying to help you. But for a lot of you Cancers, this is somebody who has passed away trying to connect to you this weekend. Look for feathers. We have feathers. We have butterflies. We have ladybugs. We have a yellow flower. We have a... A lot of ladybugs um yeah the yellow flower is really standing out here so all right cancer so nonetheless you have help from the other side this weekend whether you need it or not we'll see in the tarot so spirit for cancer sun moon rising venus signs who is coming through for cancer and what is coming through for cancer in their love life for this weekend That card has not come out for readings on YouTube ever, I think. All right, so here we go, Cancer. First card out is the Two of Swords, Strength, and the Tower. All right, so Cancer, somebody definitely caused you pain recently. Somebody definitely caused you to pull back. Um, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Leo. But when strength comes through, I feel like that is because you need it. At least for me. When strength comes through, that means that you need the strength. Because something happened. And with the tower here, it does look something has happened. So with the Two of Swords energy, I feel like, Cancer, you're just... It looks like you're not even... Okay, this is what I look. What it looks like. It looks like Cancer. Things are not going great for you in your love life, but it's almost like you're not even paying attention to it. Weird. 
it's almost like you're not even looking at the bad as bad. You're just not looking at it at all. Hmm. This is weird. All right. Let me clarify this. There's like something you're not seeing with this two of swords. Either you are not seeing that you have to make a decision about this person who just causes you tower moments. Or you are just not making a decision in terms of something in love. Oh gosh, let's clarify this. With this card coming out, that means there's some sort of specific message from the other side. So give me a second while I try my best to articulate this. Two of Swords. Magician. Strength. The world and the tower with the seven of wands. All right. Yeah, Cancer, you're dealing with somebody who is, or you have been dealing with somebody who is like unnecessarily rude, unnecessarily, like they do things that are just like unnecessary. Like that's what I feel. And it's almost like, um... There's just an energy of you not seeing it, though. Um, there's also an energy here of you not seeing your power. Two of Swords with the Magician. So, I do feel like you have a decision to make, Cancer. About what you do with this person or how you handle this person. And it's like you don't know what to do. So, it seems like somebody from your past on or somebody's coming through for you trying to say, Cancer... It's time for you to take off the blindfold and see that you really can do anything you want. It's time to take off the blindfold and be courageous, be brave, put your best foot forward, stand up for yourself, whatever. But I feel like you're dealing with somebody who just does unnecessary crap. Like they don't have to be unnecessarily rude or unnecessarily just flighty or annoying or whatever, but they, they decide to. I don't know what this is, but it's like you're not seeing that this person is just crappy, I guess. All right. The Knight of Wands. All right, there you go. This is weird. I'm hearing weird things. Um, I don't know. It looks like you're not seeing something. You have to make a decision about something, and you're just not doing it. You know what this is, Cancer. Like, I'm, I'm hearing that. Like, I don't need to explain. Like, I, I went to say something, and then I was just dead silent. And it's because you know. They're, they're telling me, like, there's no need to further explain. Cancer knows. So there you go. You know, I'm done. There you go. Magician, Gemini energy. We have strength with Leo energy. We have the world fixed sign energy. Leo, um, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, strong Scorpio, strong Leo. We have Gemini and we have some fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. Especially when the Knight of Wands came out. You know, you know. You know. All right, that's it. That was weird. All right, I never had to do a reading like that, but that's what I got, Cancer. Thank you for being here and for watching. Next we have is Leo. So hello, my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit for Leo. What angel is with Leo for this weekend in their love lives? Here we go, Leo. And Leo, you have card number two, the Angel of Balance. All right, so possibly trying to find balance in your love life or trying to find balance in general. Possibly there's a lot of things going on, work, family, friends, love. Trying your best to make time for everything. Try your best to put, you know, genuine effort into all areas of your life. So definitely trying to find balance. In your life this weekend, Leo. Definitely a lot going on. Maybe you have a lot of work to do or whatever. So let's see what the tarot has here for you, Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. In their love lives, spirit for this weekend. Let 
Nine of Swords, Death, and the Eight of Wands. All right, so Leo, there's definitely been some sort of ending or some sort of change in your love life recently or just in your life in general. And I do feel like this is something that is really going to catapult you into success. So it may have not seemed great. Um, maybe it didn't seem like it was the best scenario for you, but it is going to bring you growth. So whatever happened here, you're going to grow from. We have the Nine of Swords here. So something caused, is, has been causing you anxiety. Something has been causing you to have some sort of sleepless nights here. We have death coming through. So definitely could have the, had an ending occur or some sort of unexpected change that's causing you stress or possibly you are in your head about somebody ending something with you or changing the course of the connection. Or maybe, Leo, you are stressed about ending something. Whatever the case may be, whatever ending has happened or whatever change has recently occurred, this weekend you are going to feel better. You're going to feel like you're growing. You're going to feel more successful. Eight of Wands here as well definitely could be a conversation that you are having with this person that things have changed with or things have ended with. Possibly with this Eight of Wands and the Angel of Balance coming through. Leo, you may have a conversation with your person on how you two can keep balance in the connection. Maybe the love was lost. Maybe the spark was lost. Whatever the case may be. And it was causing you some sort of anxiety. Possibly you two have a conversation of how you two can re-spark the spark in the connection. How to bring love back in the connection. How you two can move forward in this connection. How you two can regain balance again. And for some of you Leos, with this Eight of Wands, if you just had gone through an ending change, whatever the case may be, love will be available to you. Eight of Wands is an energy of a lot of attention coming your way. So for some of you Leos, this change ending is going to lift a block for you to receive a lot more attention, a lot more success, a lot more growth in your relationship or just in your love life in general. And... It definitely looks like a blessing in disguise or some sort of energy that you really didn't have any control over really catapulting you into a totally new person, a totally new energy where you're kind of just like not feeling anxious anymore, right? Not feeling upset anymore, not staying up all night, not overthinking things, whatever the case may be. So Leo, if you have been sitting in the anxiety energy because of whatever reason, things are going to get better. For others of you, things are going to get better with your person. Some of you Leo, some things are going to get better just within yourself. Maybe you meet new love, maybe a past love comes around. I feel like this could be anything. But it looks like there is a lot of love coming your way after some sort of change or some sort of ending. So you know your story better than I do here, Leo. And if you have recently gotten broken up with or ended things with somebody, there is no need to fear. With this Eight of Wands, Spirit will make sure you receive abundance, that you receive what is owed to you. But you need to make that decision within yourself to release this anxiety. For others of you, you know, there maybe wasn't even an ending or a change. This death to the Nine of Swords is just an ending to your anxiety. You may be finding the perfect balance to put an ending to your anxiousness. And in turn, it helps your relationship, your love life, whatever in general, just get better. So for some of you Leos, you haven't even gone through any sort of ending or any sort of change. You are putting the ending to your own mental prison or mental drought where you just feel like you're clouded by all the wrong thoughts. So we have Scorpio energy, we have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and we have fire energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. But 
definitely very strongly for conversations happening this weekend or for somebody wanting to talk to you this weekend. Possibly somebody is going to be traveling towards you or you're going to be receiving a lot of attention from a lot of people. And if it's not a lot of attention from a lot of people, it could just be a lot of attention from one person, but it definitely looks like a lot of energy is coming your way this weekend. So that's what I have here for you, Leo. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. And next up is Virgo. Hello, Virgo. And let's get a angel for you, Virgo, for this weekend for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Virgo in their love lives for this weekend. And Virgo, we have card 24, the angel of past lives. So for some of you, this could indicate that you are in a connection with somebody from a past life. You may have a repetition of a past life this weekend. So it may feel very familiar to you. Some of you may be meeting a new past life soulmate. So let's see what this angel past life is bringing you this weekend for my Virgos and their love lies. Spirit for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Alright, Virgo, here we go. We have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. All right, Virgo. So the Ace of Wands, somebody wanting to spark something with you, re-spark something with you, show you some passion, so you show you some sensual energy, possibly. Ace of Wands is an energy of passion, fire, flirtation, and just feeling in tune with someone. I do feel like for some of you Virgos, you could be re-sparking the spark in your connection with the Two of Cups here. Feeling very in tune with your person, emotionally open, and really coming together with them on a beautiful level. And with this Queen of Cups as well, your person is, could definitely be expressing to you, oh my gosh, look at how big this cup is in this deck. This is my um, father's deck. He just passed away recently, so I decided to use it. And I had never noticed how big this freaking cup is. All right, whatever. Anyways, Virgo, nonetheless, there is love here between you and your person. Or there's just a lot of love coming towards you, Virgo. I definitely feel like somebody is either in love with you or they are falling in love with you. Or you are meeting a new soulmate connection. Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, Queen of Cups. Absolutely somebody that you are tied to at the heart and really do feel drawn to so Virgos in relationships definitely getting closer possibly there is a experience that happens for you two this weekend especially with that ace of wands that is something that you two have already gone through in a past life and for others of you Virgos definitely meeting somebody new this could be a past person returning back into your energy wanting to re-spark this connection, but it definitely looks like a love is coming your way, Virgo. Love is heavily coming your way this weekend. Somebody who is very sensitive or vulnerable or emotional, or they could just be a water sign. But there's definitely a lot of emotions here. For some of you Virgos who are meeting a newer energy, there definitely could be an instant connection with this person, an instant spark, because you two already know one another. So Virgo, this is an extremely good reading. If you are a single, single Virgo, you actually could be doing things with friends, meeting um, new love interests while you're doing things with a friend. I don't know why I feel that, but beautiful reading here for you, Virgo. Definitely feeling the love, getting the love, and either meeting a new love, having new love with your person, a renewed sense of love, a renewed sense of passion and sensual energy. Or for some of you Virgos, past person, not over you, still have love for you, and they want to know how you feel. So, we have water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Ace of Wands here with 
fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you Virgos, if you haven't putting yourself out there on the internet, you could be meeting somebody on a social site, on a dating app, if you have been doing that. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. So thank you, Virgo, for being here and for watching. And I'll talk to you very soon. Next we have is Libra. Hello, Libra. Let's get a angel for you, Libra. For this weekend in your love life for Libra spirit, for Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Thank you. And Libra, you have card number nine, the angel of determination. Aries also got this card. Could be dealing with an Aries. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But you are determined. Determined to get what you want. Determined to do things your way. Or just feeling very determined to get yourself out there. Find a new love. Or go through a growth process. Feeling courageous. Feeling brave. Your angel helping you do this. So Libra, let's see what the tarot has for you. Spirit, what is coming Libra's way in terms of love for this weekend? All right, Libra, we have the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the Page of Cups. So I feel like, Libra, you are determined to have a whole new world in your, in your relationship or your love life. I feel like you are done with the way things go always go five of cups it's just like constant disappointment constant sadness constant looking at the glass half empty it's just like you're constantly waiting for there to be a new day a brighter day a better day two of wands here like i said you're just waiting you're like anticipating when things are going to be Totally new, totally fresh, and just not like the past anymore. You don't want to deal with the nasty, disappointed energy from the past anymore. So Libra, if you are in a connection, boy, are you determined to see a brighter day for this relationship. Oh, you are determined. For others of you Libras, you are determined as hell to find new love. With this page of cups coming through. Definitely could very much be determined in finding a new love interest. And just let go of all of those people that just caused you full disappointment in your past. So I feel like this could go either way. Libra, you are determined to see a relationship work. Or are you are determined to find new love. We do have the page of cups here. So... For some of you, you are anticipating an apology from someone or you are just anticipating the new love. So whatever you are anticipating, it does look like it's coming. Page of Cups here, new love or an apology. But I do feel like if it's an apology, this person could come around a bit better or they could apologize a bit better. I don't feel like it's going to be very... It'll be sincere, but I don't know. I'm getting weird vibes from that card. Um, but for my Libras who are determined to find new love, you will find it. It will come your way and you will feel like you can finally turn around and see that there's hope left for you. So we have cup energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have two of wands indicating Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but two specific energies Determined to see a relationship work. Even determined to receive an apology as well. I feel like for some of you Libras, you're kind of like, you need to apologize to me. And for others of you Libras, you're really determined to find someone else. I'm find new love and whatever. So that's what I got here for you, Libra. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to all my beautiful Libras soon. Next is Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. Let's get an angel for Scorpio spirit for this weekend in their love lives. For my beautiful Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. All right, Scorpio, you have card 34, the angel of unity. So coming together with somebody, coming together in union. 
with your person, feeling more united with your person, feeling more in tune. You know, you see all these people holding hands connected to one another, feeling more connected to someone, possibly coming into union with somebody new, someone from your past. Let's see, this angel of unity is bringing you together with people. So let's see here, Scorpio. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives for this weekend for my beautiful Scorpios. For June 4th to June 6th, thank you, Spirit. All right, Scorpio. So we have the Fool, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so there is a new beginning on the table for you. A fresh start with your person, possibly a new person coming around. But a new beginning is available to you now here, Scorpio. This is Aries energy. I feel like, Scorpio, you're uncertain on if you want to embark on this new beginning. Or you could be dealing with somebody who is uncertain about embarking on it. Having the fresh start. So, it is available to you, but you don't really look like you're looking at it too much. Let's see. We have the Fool with the Six of Wands, the Four of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. Alright, so, Scorpio, it looks like somebody is going to, there's, there's going to be a new start presented to you. A new start where you're really going to feel like you're getting what you want. I almost feel like you were bored in the past or somebody's bored here. But it's like things are going to start getting exciting again or you're going to feel excited again about love. So Scorpio, things have been like really weird recently with you and your person. Stagnant, delayed, maybe even boring. Maybe you really haven't been getting what you wanted. It does look like there's going to be a new beginning for you, for you to feel appreciated, feel recognized. Nine of Pentacles, get what you want. And with this Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, finally feeling on the same page with your person, finally feeling on the same page with your love interest. So for a lot of you Scorpios, I feel like if you are in a relationship, you haven't really felt united with your person, you haven't really felt on the same page with your person, this weekend you two are going to start a new beginning and finally feel on the same page. I feel like for Scorpios, whatever your placement is here, what you're watching for, this energy was lingering for a bit, I feel. And for my single, 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 single Scorpios, like I said, a new beginning is presenting themselves to you. It looks like you're finally going to receive an offer that you want. And it looks like you're going to be receiving attention. I do feel like for some of my single Scorpios, it's attention from multiple people. For others of you Scorpios, it definitely could be you're getting attention from somebody. Maybe you even have somebody at work you're interested in with this Three of Pentacles. Or somebody's interested in you at work. Finally starting something. Finally taking that risk on one another. Or just letting each other know that you feel attracted. Or think they look good, smell good, whatever the case may be. But... I definitely feel, Scorpio, you're going to feel really good this weekend. You're going to come together with your person or somebody else and feel really good. Somebody that you feel like you could be on the same page with or finally feeling more in tune with your person. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here very strongly. We have Aquarius. No, we don't have Aquarius, but maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. Um, we have Aries, Leo, Sag, strong Aries. But nonetheless, Scorpio, this is finally getting on the same page with your person or finally meeting somebody that you could be on the same page with. Possibly it could be a past person here wanting to reunite with you as well. But that's what I got here for you, Scorpio. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to all of my beautiful Scorpios very soon. And next up is Sagittarius. Hello, Sagittarius. Let's get an angel card for you, Sag. For this weekend in Sagittarius Love Life Spirit, what's going on for Sag? What angels with Sagittarius? All right. The angel with you is card 33. The angel of tranquility. I think you got this card the last time we did angel cards. 
I'm going to pull another one for you. Um, you may be seeing 3-3 a lot. Um, Angel of Tranquility is all about really finding peace within yourself, finding peace within your connection, just finding peace in general. So let's see what other angel is going to be with this angel. Oh my gosh, your cuts are really weird. Okay. Oh, and we have the Angel of Music. Interesting. Okay, so Sagittarius, there is something around music that is going to bring you some sort of peace. Or possibly your person and you, you are going to be connecting through music or doing something along the lines of music. Maybe you're going to go to a concert, a club. Maybe they ask you to do something along those lines like that. But I definitely do feel like there is some sort of peace that you are going to find in music. So interesting. I know that is not necessarily in term of love, but maybe there is some sort of song that you and your person have. Let's see what the tarot has for you, Sag. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Here we go. I want to say some of you Sagittarius are single, 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 and you are not paying attention to love, and you listen to music a lot. There's something around that. Three of Cups. Magician. Oh. And the Five of Wands. All right, so Sagittarius, there is somebody that is interested in reconciliation with you. Um, huh. There's too many people here. So, single Sagittarius, you could be single, and um, if you do put yourself out there, be, be, be aware that you're just going to attract a, a extreme amount of energy. So, if you do decide to, I don't know, maybe you're going to go out to a club, Three of Cups. Maybe you're going to go out drinking, go out to a bar, whatever the case may be. Three of Cups is an energy of going out and having fun. So, for some of you Sagittarius, if you are single, you may be doing that. And you may be meeting somebody. Or you may be actually having multiple people find you attractive, find you interesting. And you may actually have to make a decision there. For some of you, said, I dare dare I say that you see an X out. I, I feel like some of you said, Sagittarius, you may see somebody that you once dated out. You may turn up your headphones and be like, all right, hopefully they don't notice. Hopefully they don't say anything to me because I have my headphones on. I don't know. This is weird. Very weird energy. Um... I do feel like for others of you Sagittarius, like I said, somebody could be very much interested in reconciliation with you, but I feel like this person is very um, insecure. I feel like this person is almost having an internal battle about how to come your way, in what way should they initiate conversation, how do they ask you to, maybe they were going to ask you to go out for drinks, for coffee, and see if maybe go listen to a band, uh, and maybe they're uncertain of how to do that. I do want to say for some of you Sagittarius, you may actually reconcile with an ex this weekend and y'all may argue. Just saying. Um, and for others of you Sagittarius, I don't know, it looks like there's multiple people wanting you. Or there will be multiple people wanting you. Or there's this, just this one person from your past that is very insecure or very... Very... Maybe they're even jealous of you. Or they have jealous tendencies, like they don't want to see you moving on, but they don't really want to be with you, and they're just going to come back to start drama. I don't know, there's something weird here. So, hopefully, or actually, maybe not hopefully, some of these messages resonated for some of you Sagges, because not that all the messages are great, but if you do reconcile with an ex this weekend, it's going to feel good in the moment, but not after. Not after. If you get yourself out there, prepare for multiple people to be interested in you. And, yeah. 
If you're in a relate, oh, there you go. If you're in a relationship, Sagittarius. Wow. So if you're in a relationship, Sagittarius is probably like your best message. I don't even know why I didn't mention the relationship people yet, but here we go. If there has been drama, if there has been a lot of arguments, conflict, I do feel like things are going to be getting better. Angel of Tranquility definitely coming through. Bringing peace, Three of Cups, bringing happiness, magician, bringing an energy of confidence. So could it be dealing with a Gemini? Could be dealing with a Aquarius. Why do I keep doing that? Aquarius is not out, but I keep saying their their sign. Whatever, maybe an Aquarius. Um, we do have a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the Three of Cups. But I do feel the need to let you know, Sag, that if an X comes around, it's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel really good in the moment. Trust me. It's gonna feel fantabulous. But I don't think they're trustworthy. I don't think they have the greatest intentions. I don't think they want like a relationship. So that's what I got there for you, my beautiful Sagittarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And next up is my beautiful Capricorns. Hello, Capricorn. And let's get your guardian angel for this weekend spirit for Capricorn. What guardian angel is with Capricorn in their love lives for this weekend? All right, Capricorn, you have card 13, the angel of gratitude. So there are going to be things to be grateful for this weekend. Beautiful. 13 may mean something to you. doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But the angel of gratitude, feeling grateful, feeling selfless, mindfulness, compassion, perspective. That's all that's on here. Wisdom, abundance, forgiveness, purpose, peace. So really feeling grateful. So something definitely could be happening this weekend in your love life that makes you feel grateful. So let's see for Capricorn Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in their love lives for this weekend for Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. We have the Six of Wands. There you go. The King of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like a lot of you Capricorns, you definitely have been feeling neglected. You may have been feeling um, disconnected from your person, or you may have just been feeling not really in tune with them, not really there with them, and maybe the passion was dwindling or the love was seeping away, but Six of Wands here, things are coming back. Six of Wands, recognition, appreciation, feeling victorious, finally moving past challenge drama and possibly a feeling of feeling lonely or maybe there was a moment of um a loss here with the five of pentacles for some of you capricorns this could be somebody giving you attention that you um are not necessarily connected with here and it makes you feel really good here with this king of wands you could be definitely connecting with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but Capricorn, this person is very attracted towards you. I feel like you are also very attracted towards this person. So if you are in a relationship, Capricorn, you've been feeling like this. Left out, unloved, unappreciated. This weekend, you are finally going to feel grateful. You are finally going to feel that appreciation, feel that love, and really feel like you want to nurture this connection still. Really feel like this is something that's going to be good for you. Something that you can find a lot of happiness with. So Capricorn, if you have been feeling neglected from your person emotionally, um, emotionally invalidated even, they will be recognizing you in a better light, making you feel appreciated, and you're really going to feel that. And it's going to make you feel very grateful, Capricorn. Because they haven't been making you feel this way for a bit. For others of you, Capricorns, definitely could be a past person returning back in, giving you attention. Telling you they're still interested in you as well. Um, and for others of you, Capricorns, you may be receiving some sort of money if you went through a financial loss. That is just like a random message I'm getting here. 
But wherever you have been feeling alone or abandoned or just feeling the disconnect with your person, that is going to come back around. So you just basically have a lot to be grateful for this weekend. And if the passion dwindled or the passion was lost, I definitely feel like that's going to be reignited, which is something that's really big, especially if there was a disconnect. So that's what I have here for you, Capricorn. Definitely feeling a lot more confident in your love life. I'm a lot more grateful after feeling a bit lonely or maybe let down. So that's what I have here for you, Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or a, a um, Aries, Leo, Sag. Next card out. Our next person is Aquarius. So hello, Aquarius. Let's get a angel for you, Aquarius, for this weekend. In your love life for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, y'all have been on my mind the whole time. I've been saying your name in people's readings for no reason. I don't know why, but here we go, Aquarius. All right. And Aquarius, you have card 24, the angel of past lives. So this weekend may feel very familiar to you in a way that you really can't explain. Possibly you are connecting with somebody from a past life, a new person, a past person, or you and your person experience something that feels very familiar. So here we go, Aquarius. Spirit for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives. What's going on for Aquarius spirit in their love lives for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for my beautiful Aquarius. What's coming their way in terms of love? Thank you, spirit. All right, Aquarius. So we have temperance. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Two of Cups. Ooh, Aquarius. Talk about connecting to a past life connection. So it looks like an angel, two angels, have been working behind the scenes for you here with Temperance. Um, patience, you have, been, you have been very patient, Aquarius. And your patience is finally getting rewarded. But you have been patient for many reasons. Some you have been patient because you had no choice. But you had no choice because the past life and the time frame was set up in a certain way where you had to wait for something here. So a lot of you Aquarius, you are either already connected to the person that you are going to marry or you are connecting to your person that you are going to marry this weekend. Or you will very soon. Possibly the energy is getting built up from this weekend. Temperance is here, so definitely could mean that there is a little bit more of a wait left, but I don't feel like it's going to be very much longer. Ten of Pentacles here. Stability, longevity, that happy family, that happy home, that stable home, that feeling very grounded with somebody. And hello, the Two of Cups, soulmate connection. And you know, this Temperance card has also two cups. So, Aquarius, with temperance coming through, this angel here is mixing together two cups. And a lot of the times in temperance, the two people that are coming together are very different from one another, hence patience that is needed to navigate this connection. So for a lot of you Aquarius, you have been very patient in this connection and you are finally going to feel a lot more stable with this person. You may be meeting, like I said, a new past life connection. You were married to this person in a past life or you will marry this person in this lifetime. And for others of you Aquarius, could be somebody from your past with temperance wanting to return back into your energy, really in a position of knowing that you're the one, knowing that you're the one for them. So very interesting reading here, Aquarius. Definitely could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, you could also be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But Aquarius, nonetheless, Spirit is saying, I have a blessing for you. I have a coming together with a true soul tie for you. 
And with temperance coming through, if you are in a connection, Aquarius, y'all are so different from one another. Y'all are so different from one another. Um, there could be distance as well. There could be some sort of... Maybe you two live in two different towns, two different states, two different countries even. But this is beautiful. This is really, really positive energy here for you, Aquarius. And I almost feel like for some of you, you may be even be asked to get married. Like somebody may be proposing to you. Or you are already connected to the person that will propose to you or you will connect to them soon. But this is awesome energy. Very, very awesome. And Aquarius, if you are single, there definitely could be a new past life soulmate or a past person returning back in. Everyone's going to have their own um, experiences, obviously. But, wow. Maybe that's why I kept saying your name this whole time. Because you got the best reading. It's, it literally can't get better. I could see what comes next. Should I? Let's do it. Temperance would have had the tower. Ten of Pentacles would have had the high. Oh, come on. The Hierophant? I don't know if y'all are married, but if you're not married, you may be on the road to marriage. Spirit. Look at this. The Hierophant, Temperance, bringing you a past life connection. The tower. Unexpected. Shocking. Scorpio energy and let's see what would have been on the two of cups and we have the queen of wands All right, so feeling confident feeling in tune feeling magnetic everyone is attracted to you to you Feeling growth feeling abundance and feeling a lot of creative energy as well So the passion is here the love is here and the commitment is here if not it's coming and Aquarius you definitely like I said new or past person coming around really going to feel confident the tower here extremely unexpected if it's a past or new person maybe even aquarius in relationships maybe you just weren't expecting this person to offer you this grand stability but wow so thank you aquarius oh we could be dealing with a scorpio a taurus a fire sign a water sign a sag an earth sign really could be anyone thank you aquarius and last but not least, my fellow fishes, my beautiful Pisces. Hello, Pisces. And welcome to your weekend love reading sphere for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for June 4th to 6th. What angel is with Pisces for this weekend? Please show me what angel is with Pisces for this weekend for June 4th to 6th. All right, Pisces, we have card 25, the angel of positivity. So 25 may mean something to you. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But Pisces, it looks like you have been in a bit of a, a, a maybe a dark moment recently. And it's time to see the light. So if you have been really pessimistic about your love life recently, very negative about your love life recently, it's time for things to get better. It's time for things to get more positive. It's time for things to look up, right? Your angel of positivity walking with you to that hope, to that rainbow, to that better day, to that brighter day. So let's see what the tarot has for you, Pisces. So your love life is getting better. Your love life is getting more positive. And you are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So, Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What energy is coming their way for Pisces for this weekend? Thank you, Spirit. All right, Pisces, you have the Seven of Cups. Judgment. And the Lovers. Oh. Oh. You got a choice to make. You got a big... Ooh, you got a choice. That's it. You got a choice. All of these cards indicate a decision. How crazy is that? All in a different way, but they all indicate a decision. 
You don't know what to do, though, Pisces. You don't know what to do. Um, a lot of you are in a soulmate connection right now. Um, I don't know, but you're make, you 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 want to make a choice about it. Maybe you're trying to make a choice to look at the positive, or maybe making a choice to commit, or you may be making a choice to move on. But you're really confused. Spirit is helping you, but you don't know what to do. Okay, so Pisces, for others of you, if you're not in a relationship and confused about what to do, um, definitely could be a past person returning back into your energy for sure with judgment and the lovers. You could even have two past people return back into your energy. I don't know what you're going to do. You don't even know what you're going to do. Let's clarify. Seven of Cups would have been clarified by the King of Swords. Oh, you'll make a decision. Ooh, Pisces. Somebody, what is, what's going on? Alright, let's see. Judgment with the Seven of Wands. And the Lovers with the Queen of Pentacles. All right, Pisces, you know you have to make a decision about something, but you're 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 not ready. I don't know what's going on here, but you something happened here. If you're in a relationship, your person, I don't know what they did to you, but they did the wrong thing. They turned you cold. I don't know what the heck they did. But they turned you very cold and very defensive. But it's almost like you're very confused on even what you want to do in the connection. You're still in the connection. It's like you don't really know anymore if you see potential in this person, I guess. And for others of you, you just have two past people returning back. Definitely could be a earth sign and an air sign. Maybe it's a Gemini. We have seven of wands here, so we do have fire as well. But single Pisces, you do have two people returning back into your energy or maybe just one person, but somebody's definitely returning back into your life. And for others of you Pisces, if you are... I almost feel like for some of you Pisces, this could be a past person and a new person coming in. For others of you, two past people, but I feel like there's a lot of energy here. Um... And for others of you, Pisces, a lot of energy I feel is because you have a lot of confusion. You have so much confusion. It's like, but it's because there's a very, very big decision to be made. So either you're really deciding on committing to somebody for real, or somebody is coming back around, two people are coming back around, or one new person, one past person, and you have to make a decision on who you want to give that pinnacle to. Who you want to give that effort to. Who you want to give that real love to. But if you are dealing with a Pisces, or this could be Crosswatcher Pisces. Maybe your Pisces pissed you off or something. But I don't know. If, you're, if, if you are in a relationship, you haven't been positive. Some, this person did something to you. This person pissed you off. They did something that that made Pisces turn with a flip of a switch to be cold. And Pisces, this is also what your June reading was about. Somebody underestimating you. You surprising the crap out of somebody. And I feel like you're going to surprise this person because you're not either letting them in that easily. Maybe this newer energy thought you would be very accessible and you're not. Or your person who took advantage of you one too many times, was rude to you one too many times, or whatever the heck they did to you one too many times. It's like that's what the energy is. It's like they did it one too many times, and now it's like you're already off the edge. But you're, you're, you didn't make a decision yet, though. So I do feel like for some of you Pisces, you have a soft spot for this person still, or you have feelings for them still, or maybe whatever. But you got to make a choice. You have to. And most of you Pisces is a choice between two people. Others of you Pisces is a choice if you really want to continue dealing with this person. 
Jeez. All right, so that's what I have here for you, Pisces. Um, nonetheless, you will go towards what makes you feel most positive because the angel of positivity is guiding you that way. So that's what I got for you, Pisces. Yeah, people coming in, coming in hot, and you have to make a choice. That's it. There you go, Pisces. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Oh, sorry. I think I told you who you could be dealing with. Very strong fixed sign energy, so it could definitely be a um, Aquarius. Um, Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini. And we also have Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Aries, Leo, Sag. Really could be dealing with anybody, but that's just the specifics. So thank you, Pisces. Thank you, everyone, for being here, for watching. I'm closed for private readings, but I will be going live weekly to answer Super Chat questions. I also do free card pulls on my Instagram. So in the description box below, you'll find all the information about that. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you are on top of all of my releases. And do not forget to like this video. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.